What's up YouTube, it's the Gaming Jackal. I'm gonna be doing the very first rant video, negative video on this channel. I'm gonna talk about why honestly, Xbox sucks nowadays. Because ever since the 8th generation and now, I feel like Xbox has went downhill and they just completely suck nowadays. This isn't, this isn't no fanboy crap, all right? The Xbox 360 is my favorite console of all time. It's the first console I got to experience internet and Xbox Live and multiplayer. I met a bunch of cool people on here. You know, Gears of War, Dead Rising, Fallout 3, Left 4 Dead. So many great franchises and great memes I played on this system. My favorite console of all time. PS2 is the second. So this isn't no fanboy stuff. But after the 360, I feel like Xbox has went downhill. Because going into the 8th generation, right... We had PS4 and Xbox One, and you had that whole fiasco with the Don Matrick, all that bullshit, which they reversed a lot of that stuff because of the backlash, and because nobody was going to buy the damn console. And I did end up getting a PS4 and Xbox One, and I did want to get an Xbox One to play Dead Rising 3. And while that game was fun at first, it doesn't hold up over time. And then there was Gears of War 1 Remake, which was cool, but I still prefer the original Gears of War 1 because of the art style. But I had some fun with it. But besides like those two titles, I eventually found myself like playing on the PS4. And then I eventually got a PS4 Slim. And I found myself playing that more. And that being more my primary console of the 8th generation over the Xbox One. Now I did use the Xbox One. I did have some fun with it. But compared to the 360 or even the original Xbox, I feel like it's just a down, it's downhill. It's not as good. You know, to, to back up a bit and give a quick synopsis of me with gaming, I started with the N64, then the one of the Super Nintendo consoles, then it was PlayStation 2, then for 7th generation it was Xbox 360, and now we're into the 8th generation. I was born in 1999. And like I said, the 360 is my favorite console, so this is no fanboy talk, but when I think about the 360 and the experiences I had on that system, and then I compare it to Xbox One, and then you see in this new Xbox, I'm like, man, Xbox just... They're just not as good as they used to be anymore. And it's really telling when I'm using my PS4 more, more than my Xbox One. Like most of the third party games I get or play is on the PS4, not the Xbox One. And also, I think it's also because like the controller thing, like the 360 controller, which I have over here, the 360 controller is great. You know, this was a perfect controller. It fits right in your hand. It's perfect. It fits right in your hand. It's great. Let me see if I can find the Xbox One controller. Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. 360 controller. Great. Nothing wrong with it besides the stupid batteries, but I bought rechargeable batteries. <sighs> the Xbox One controller. I don't like this controller as much as a 360 controller. Like, it may still fit in your hand like a 360 controller, but there's a lot of changes I don't care for. The bumpers are like this. Like they're like plastic or something. It's weird. Like... What was wrong with these bumpers? These were just fine. What the hell is this? And then, like, I don't know, like, the D-pad is better, but it just, I don't know, like, the Xbox One controller, I don't like it as much as the 360 controller. The 360 controller was far superior, more comfortable, better bumpers, and also better made. I mean, I know some 360 controllers I did have issues with, but I feel like I had more issues with Xbox One controllers. Buttons getting stuck, or like, you know, the moving the analog stick forward and the character stops. And, you know, not like years of using it wear and tear. No, it would mess up not even having it that long. And also, my Xbox One can't even read disc anymore. This tray's messed up. I know 360 had an issue with Red Ring, but at least they revisioned it and did like a model like this, so now it's better. But I just feel like Xbox One, it was disappointing, I thought. Like, okay, let's talk about the first party games of Xbox One. What did it have? It had Dead Rising 3, which I liked at first, but then over time, I don't care for it anymore. They had Gears of War, but to be honest, Gears of War is past its prime. Gears of War hasn't been good since Part 3. Um, I don't mind Judgment. It's easily better than 4 and 5, but even that wasn't as good as the first three. Gears of War 4, I didn't mind the campaign at first, but when I revisit Gears of War 4, the campaign is very boring because you fight stupid-ass robots. The new characters, JD, Kate, and Dell, all suck. They're boring. They have no personality or presence. You don't even see Marcus till a little bit later on. You don't even fight the Locust till Act 3, which is fucking stupid. 
Um, and the campaign in that is just boring. And then I had some fun with the multiplayer and Horde, but I could just tell, like, you know, like over time it just isn't as good as the previous ones. Plus it had more bullshit microtransactions and the way it did things was more like just worse in some ways compared to Gears of War 3 because you had the credit system. You had to grind your fucking ass off for some damn credits. It's like, what the fuck? What was wrong with Gears of War 3's system where you get to level this or level that and you unlock the character? Um, you know, there was some stuff that was grindy, but it wasn't like the fucking credit system. You gotta get all these credits for these characters. It just took forever. It's like, why go for that? Why can't we just have the character unlocks a Gears 3 or even Gears 2? Like, have it be something simple. You get these characters beating it on insane. You get these characters, you know, credits are just stupid. And then Gears 5, I kind of had fun with the campaign, but that game was also disappointing. Because Kate, as a character, I don't fucking like her. She's a lame-ass main character. Fuck her. Uh, JD, he was better in Gears 5. He was. I'll tell you this. The first act of Gears 5 is phenomenal. I love the first act of Gears 5. That was great. It felt like an old-school, traditional Gears of War game. You're fighting Locust. JD was so much more interesting in Gears 5. I love Foz. I thought they really had something going there, and then they time skip, and we play as Kate and Dell, and the campaign just goes downhill, I feel like. They do these stupid open world sections for Gears 5, which doesn't work. Gears of War works better as a linear shooter, not fucking open world, and then just drag the game out. It's like, why do they put this in here? Like, not every game needs to be open world. So, while I still had some fun with the campaign, I don't give a shit about Kate. Fuck her. She's a lame character. I don't care about her. I don't care about Dell. The game should have revolved around the style of Act 1. If the whole game would have been Gears 5, JD, and Foz, it would have been a much better game. But we gotta follow this bitch, Kate. She's a fucking lame character. And she's a fucking bitch to a lot of people. She's a bitch to JD. She leads the crew as if she's like one of the top cog leaders. It's like, who the fuck are you? And then they do some bullshit with the story where it's like, uh, Reyna comes back and she's in Locust Pam like that. I don't even make sense. Didn't she die in Gears 4? You know? And it's just like Dom died for nothing because the Locusts are still alive, which makes no sense. Dom died to get him to get further in Gears 3, and then Adam Phoenix sacrificed himself to test the bomb to get rid of the Locusts, and yet we still have Locusts. This is fucking stupid. Gotta milk that Gears of War series, right? It's just like the Gears of War like I had I had fun. To a certain extent with Gears 5 and Multiplayer and Horde, but it's just not the same. It's not like the old days. Marcus and Dom, or even Michael Barrick and Rom Shadow, or even Judgment. I, the, the times I did go back to Gears War Judgment, I enjoyed it. Playing the campaign, you know, I do have issues with that game, but that game is better and more fun than Gears 4 and Gears 5. It shits all over those games. It's not as good as the first three, but it's better than 4 and 5. So while the Xbox One had Gears of War 4 and Gears of War 5, I feel like the Gears of War series went downhill. And I was just like, you know, it's just disappointing. There's a lot of game series that went downhill. Like fucking, I know this isn't an exclusive, but Fallout 4, that was disappointing over time. It's not even as good as Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3. I was never into the Halo series, but that's another franchise for a lot of people that went downhill with the Xbox One. People weren't really big on Halo 4, especially not Halo 5, especially not Halo Infinite. So Halo even went down for people. And it's like, what did they really have besides Dead Rising 3 and Gears? Dead Rising 3, not even really that good. Nothing compared to the first two Dead Risings. And then Gears just went downhill. And besides that, in some, other show, some other issues I have with the Xbox One, the UI for it fucking sucks. I don't like the UI for the Xbox One. It's trash. And it's the same UI for the Series X. It sucks. It's confusing. There's these things all over the screen. I mean, I'm sure you can get used to it, but I just hate the way it looks. It's so complicated and it looks so fucking ugly. Like, the PlayStation UI is just fine. You have your games all right there. You click on them and you play them and you're good to go. With Xbox, they got all this stuff all over the fucking screen. It's like, what the fuck? Their UI is trash. What was wrong with the 360 UI? I don't mind the 360 UI. I mean, it had some stuff on it, but at least when you you know, turn the system on, you could find your game, you had a selection of my games, even some of the older 360 UI was cool, the original Xbox UI was cool, but for some reason they just went for a shittier design, because it sucks in the new systems. Another reason why Xbox sucks nowadays, I mean this is something they've had with them for a while, but damn it, that doesn't mean you gotta keep it, because it's not a good thing. Batteries in the controller, 
Why the fuck does Xbox have batteries in the controller? Granted, the 360 had them, but at least you could get a wired controller. At least you could get rechargeable ones, but it still shouldn't have had batteries. It's stupid. I also don't care for, in some cases, the rechargeable controller that PlayStation have either. I think we should just go back to wired controllers, or at least have an option for wired controllers. Because what can happen, what happened with my PS4 controller, I can't even play it anymore while it's charging. Because it's so old and got a short in it. That wouldn't have happened if it was wired. I'm sure that wouldn't have happened either if I had batteries. But still, the concept of batteries is stupid. Because, think about it. Yes, batteries last long. And I'm sure they'd last, as people said, they last longer in a PlayStation controller. But you have to keep paying for them. It's almost like a streaming service controller, if you really think about it. It's like you buy an Xbox One or a Series X. I don't have one. And you're playing it. And you need batteries. So when the batteries run out, guess what? You can't play it. Now, you can apparently, like, I know for the Xbox One, you can plug a cord into this and you can actually play it on the Xbox One. So you can use it without batteries, which I'm just now realizing. But still, the concept of batteries is fucking stupid. But yeah, you can use a wire. I just, I just remember that. So they at least have that. I don't know if the Series X has that. I'm going to assume it does. But the Xbox One has a wire thing, so my bad on that a little bit, but still, the concept of batteries is stupid. I never understood why they wanted to use batteries. It's dumb. Having to constantly pay to use your controller, that's basically what it is. You have to constantly get batteries for your Xbox controller just to use the damn thing unless you want to use it wired, and it's like, that's, a, that's like a streaming service. Like, oh, I'm out of batteries, I gotta pay for more. So you're basically spending more money on a controller you already paid for to play some fucking games. What kind of shit is that for systems that aren't even that fucking amazing? The Xbox One is shit compared to the 360. Worse UI, first party titles that are worse, first party series like Gears of War and Halo going downhill. And then they had other stupid shit on Xbox One. I hated how strict they were with the Xbox voice chat. That shit is pussified now, man. A 360 was fun. People said whatever the fuck they wanted. It was crazy and it was fun on there, right? But on Xbox One, it's worse. Like, you can get suspended and you can't send messages or get in party chats. And you can get, like, you can get suspended and in trouble for certain shit, which is stupid. Like, to some extent, like, I remember there would be times where someone would send me hate mail or be talking shit, and I would talk shit back, or I would send hate mail back, and it's like, okay, so I stand up for myself and talk shit back to someone talking shit to me, but I still get suspended? That's bullshit. Like, Xbox One's policies with their, that shit now is pussified, man. They went soft. It wasn't like that in the fucking 360. And I don't have an Xbox Series X. I mean, I will admit, the Xbox One has great backwards compatibility, for the most part, Though I do have some criticisms, but it's at least better than PlayStation and Nintendo's not even doing. Well, I guess they kind of do backwards compatibility, but when I look at Xbox One or Series X, their backwards compatibility is better than PlayStation and Nintendo's. I'll give them that. They got great backwards compatibility. Xbox One has good backwards compatibility. Xbox Series X does have great backwards compatibility. I'll give it that. That's the best thing that system has, and that's probably really the only thing I would do on that system if I did have one. But when I think about the Xbox Series X... And the console itself, it doesn't have anything on it that I want to play. There hasn't been any new Gears of War games on it. And there's really nothing I can think of that I care about on there. And a lot of the stuff that has come out is it's been disappointing and lame. What, they got Redfall? That was a flop. And I heard it was a really bad rip off of Left 4 Dead. You know? But they got Game Pass. Game Pass is cool, but that's like, all they got is Game Pass and backwards compatibility. That's it. And... They do have that new Blade video game coming out, which I'm interested in that. But at the same time, you know, look at how things went when Xbox bought Rare. You know, they sure as hell weren't making Banjo games anymore that were quality, were they? I mean, I haven't played Nuts and Bolts, but that looks weird compared to Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. And then, you know, they bought Bethesda, which now that I'm thinking about it, you know, and looking at the, there was like a leaked list of some of the games... I don't even know if it's an amazing thing that owned Bethesda. So what? Are we going to get a Fallout 5 that's actually good and better than Fallout 4 and similar or similar to Fallout 3 in New Vegas? Or is it going to be more like Fallout 4 and 76? Are we actually going to get Elder Scrolls 6? And is it actually going to be good? Are we going to get an Evil Within 3, which I would love to see? You know, I don't even know if we'll get these games. we got Starfield, which I don't personally care for because I'm not into that space sci-fi stuff. But I heard that game's very disappointing. People don't really care for it. So there you go, another disappointment, you know? And 
So it's like even them owning Bethesda, is that even going to even make it appealing, you know? Unless they do an Evil Within 3 that's outstanding, or a Fallout 5 and a Fallout New Vegas 2, or a game similar to Fallout New Vegas from Obsidian. You know, is this stuff really going to be interesting? Or they bought Activision. I'm sure that's, you know, that, that is a big win for them. At the same time, what's going to come from that? Look at their past. Look at how they did Rare. If they did Rare that way, then who's to say they won't do that? I mean, look at how they did Obsidian. Look the fucking Obsidian, right? The best thing I've seen them make is Fallout New Vegas. If I was in charge of Microsoft, hey, I want you to make a, a Fallout New Vegas sequel or a game that's even better or similar to Fallout New Vegas for our console. Call it Fallout New Orleans or some shit. I don't fucking know. But no, instead, they have them make some bullshit game called Grounded. That game looks terrible. It looks like Honey Shrunk My Kids made into a video game. Who the fuck wants to play that shit? I don't want to play that shit. It's like, you take Obsidian and have them make that? Are you kidding me? Could have had them do like a fucking Fall of New Vegas or something similar to New Vegas. It's ridiculous. And it's like, you know, I look at Xbox nowadays and, you know, like I said, there are some good things. Backwards compatibility and Game Pass, but their first party titles and lineup sucks. And another thing that sucks about Xbox is like with Series X, right? When you buy that console, you have to connect it to the internet the first time you set it up. Like, what kind of shit is that? So, you know, unlike the 360 or the PS2, where you buy the console and you can play it day one, you don't got to use no fucking internet. Fucking Series X, as soon as you buy that console, you have to activate it with internet or else you can't even use games on it. Now, apparently there's a way around that, according to Adam Korlick, who's a good YouTuber. But I don't even know if that fully fixes the problem. You know, I heard Xbox released a way to fix it, but I still don't know if that fixes the problem because what if the servers eventually go down for Series X, you know, and you got to buy a new Series X, you know, or is your current Series X like, you know, that, that's an issue. I hear PS5 Slim has that too, which is bullshit, which is why if I get a next gen console, probably go over base PS5 because I don't have that bullshit, you know. Um, but I just feel like Xbox sucks nowadays and there's a lot of issues with them now. Their UI sucks, their controllers at least Xbox One got worse. I haven't used the Xbox Series X controller. Still using batteries, which is fucking lame. Their first party lineup is worse. And it's just not the same. You know, 360, I had Gears of War 1, 2, 3, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Granted, those are third party games. But, you know, my experience with 360, Gears of War 1, 2, and 3, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas, Dead Rising 1, that was a fantastic exclusive. You had Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 on there. Oh, man, it was a great system. Xbox Live was great. The UI was good. Yeah, the battery sucked, but man, the controllers were solid. But Xbox One, crap compared to fucking 360, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't really know what else I could say in this video, but I just want to make a video ranting about this, you know? I mean, the Xbox 360 is my favorite console of all time, and I think Xbox was really good at one point. And, and like I said, gen, you know, I didn't have a PSP, but I didn't have a PS3. You know, 6th generation, I was PlayStation. 7th generation, I was Xbox over PlayStation. And looking at the exclusives from PS3, I would still be Xbox for PlayStation just because of, like, gears and stuff. But when I look at what, from my experience with the 8th generation, I found the Xbox One disappointing. I found myself using the PS4 more because I feel like the controller was better. I feel like the interface was better, the UI. And I feel like there was a lot more stuff on there, too. Like, I'm a fan of the Warriors games, personally. I like Dynasty Warriors 8. I like uh, Samurai Warriors and a lot of those games are only on PS4. They don't have any Xbox One versions. So a lot of the Warriors games you're getting are not even on Xbox. They're on PlayStation 4. So that's another reason to make me use PS4 more. And I also like, even though Xbox had it first, I honestly like tro the trophy system more than the achievement system. I don't know. I just like how it works. Achievements is just achievements and the gamer score. I just like how there's bronze, silver, gold, platinum trophies. I think that's cool. And I just feel like from 8th gen to now, Xbox has went downhill, you know. And I'm not trying to sit here and say that Sony's perfect or Nintendo's perfect, you know, or PC's perfect. No, uh, the rest of the companies, you know, there's criticisms with them. There's issues with them as well, you know. PS4 and PS5, I mean, PS5 has PS4 backwards compatibility, but their backwards compatibility definitely could be better. And then Nintendo, they can be anti-consumer. And their games always being 60, I think, is BS. They should lower the price somewhat. So I'm not trying to sit here and say that, you know, it's only Xbox. Like, no, there's issues with all these companies. But I'm just expressing, like, how I feel about Xbox nowadays. Um, it's not to say I won't have a Series X. It's not to say that I won't ever uh, play it or have some fun with it. 
But in general, I just feel like Xbox sucks nowadays. They're just not as good as they used to be, man. And this, like I said, this is coming from a guy, fucking 360, favorite console of all time. My favorite console of all time. Legendary system. But nowadays, Xbox just isn't good anymore. They just aren't, man. Worst UI. Worst controller, at least Xbox One. Still using batteries. And their first party lineup sucks. And I just, I don't know, PlayStation's just more appealing when I really compare the two. I mean, there isn't a whole lot on PS5 I would play first party wise personally, but at least they have Silent Hill 2 Remake. They at least have that, you know. And even though I'm not in to a lot of the exclusives for PS4 and PS5, at least they put effort in their games, you know. The graphics, the presentation, they put effort in it. Xbox, they don't put effort in their first party games. Look what they're doing. Grounded? Like, what the fuck? Halo Infinite, look at that fucking mess. Or fucking, what was the other fucking game? Redfall, like I said, that game. Or Starfield, I heard that was disappointing. It's like Xbox has all this money. They have the most money out of these three gaming companies. That's why they were able to buy Activision. Buy these companies, so far nothing good seems to come from it. And it's just like, damn man, what happened to Xbox, you know? Like, let's go back to this. Not only, you know, you now with gaming in general, um, you know, there is some stuff I can play nowadays in video games, but I do think video games uh, was better back then. More appealing games, franchises were better, they were in their prime. There's still some stuff I can play nowadays, to be fair, like Resident Evil 4 Remake, which was great. And, uh, you know, stuff like that, but, you know... Man, Xbox just sucks nowadays. It really does. Man, that's all I gotta say in this video. I was talking to someone on Messenger. I'm like, you know what? This would make for a good YouTube video. Let me do it. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say in this video about why Xbox sucks nowadays. Um, yeah. And I just, you know, when I look at the Series X, I just see no excitement for me or no reason to really get it besides just backwards compatibility. And I want to actually, I forgot to go a little bit on that. The backwards compatibility for Xbox, while it's great and while it's better than PlayStation Nintendo, it's even flawed itself, right? Because someone like me who's a fan of the Warriors games, I'm screwed. I can't play Warriors Rochi 1 or Warriors Rochi 2 on the Xbox One or the Series X. I can't play any of the Dynasty Warriors games from the Xbox on any of the new Xbox systems, you know? You know how awesome it would be to play Dynasty Warriors 6, 5, 4, 3, you know, be able to play Warriors Rochi 1 and 2, they get cleaned up. None of those are compatible. None of them. And there's plenty more games out there that probably aren't compatible. So not every game gets chosen, you know. And I don't get it with Warriors because it's not like Koei's not around and it would be hard for me to get the license. Koei is still around. So I don't understand why those games are not compatible. So, yeah. Aside from that, that's all i got to say in this video about uh, why I feel like Xbox sucks nowadays. If you're into gaming and like watching a channel talks about gaming, make sure to subscribe. Hit the video if you liked it and leave a comment below. Let me know how you uh, feel about Xbox nowadays. Again, uh, not a fanboy. You know, I've played on PC and Steam. Um, I have 360. I have Xbox One. I have a PS4. So let's say no fanboy crap. So yeah, that's it for the video. Peace. All right, so I'm adding this in here for the Xbox sucks nowadays video, but. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the original Xbox because I feel like I didn't talk about it enough or barely mention it. So with the original Xbox, I thought that was a good system. I regret trading it in. I wasn't aware at the time of like how many third-party games it had. It had like the same, a lot of the same games I was on the PS2. So the original Xbox was great. That was their first system. It was great, cool design, great controller, cool UI, and that was a good system. So Xbox had one good generation. They were even better than the seventh generation. They had two good generations, two good consoles. But they have not been the same since those two systems. Xbox, in those days, were great. Now, I feel like they suck nowadays for the reasons I stated in this video. But yeah, I just wanted to speak a little bit about the original Xbox. I don't have as much experience with it as 360, but it was pretty cool. I had GTA 3 on it. It was cool. You could have your own music on there. You could edit them in. And I had, like I think, a Raw wrestling game. And I had this demo game. I think it was called, like... It was like some kind of fighting game. I cannot remember the title. I think it starts with a T or something. Tang or Tong or something. I, I, I cannot remember the name of that game. But anyways, it was a good system from what I played. So I'll throw that in there being good, like the 360 as well. Um, but eh, Xbox is uh, not as good as they once were. So I just wanted to speak about the original Xbox a little bit. 
I should try to get that system one day because I could get like the Dynasty Warriors games on there and um, you know certain PS2 ports and they probably you know from my knowledge it is it is a more powerful console than PS2 and a lot of those games do clean up better on there. It'd be nice to revisit that system one day. But uh, yeah, that's that is it for this video about why Xbox sucks nowadays. Peace.